And so our challenge is bringing those two concepts together in a powerful way. Now, you don't just do that by having great hardware or by having great software or by having an innovative service. You do that by combining those three things with an integrated concept of hardware, software, and service that can deliver connected entertainment. And so what I want to do today is talk about connected entertainment in the context of our work in music, in mobile phones, in gaming, and in TV and movies. So let's start with music. A year ago at CES, Bill Gates introduced, along with executives from MTV, MTV's Urge Music Service. And that was a very exciting announcement for us and a product that's been very successful. And we are continuing to be committed to that product and others like it from the 350 partners who are helping us deliver a platform for music around the world. We think that platform is alive and well and will continue to grow. Now this year in 2006, we did add a second part to our strategy, which is the introduction of Zoom. And we're very excited about what we've been able to do with Zoom this first holiday. In our segment of the MP3 category, we are the number two player already. We are on track to ship and sell a million copies of Zoom. And whether it's the great screen we have, the wireless connectivity, the FM radio built in, or the combination of those things that is driving it, Zoom is off to a great start. And it's just going to get better. The service is going to continue to expand. We're going to continue to improve the software and the hardware. And the community of music around Zoom is going to continue to grow. This is a place where we are deeply committed to being successful, and you're going to see us in the space in a leadership position in the years to come. So that's music. Now let's talk a little bit about mobility and mobile phones. And this is an area where we've made tremendous progress. This year we have some of the hottest selling phones in the marketplace. And the cool thing for me about those phones is it's not just about phone calls, although we do that great. It's not even just about email, since that was the next round of things people wanted to be able to do. But it's also about I am. It's about movies. It's about TV. It's about music. It's about connected entertainment on my phone. And so the features we're delivering in these exciting products are bringing that to market. If you think about Singular's Blackjack from Samsung, Singular's Trio from Palm, the T-Mobile Dash from HTC, and Verizon's Motorola Q, those four alone are leading cutting edge designs that are driving tremendous market share advances for Windows Mobile. And in 2007, you're gonna see that continue to grow with new software and services continuing to build content in a community as well as bringing out business productivity that we've always been known for. All of these things are reasons why today Windows Mobile excels and why we outsell BlackBerry in the market. So that's mobility. Now I want to talk a little bit about gaming. And I want to start with games for Windows. Windows Vista, as Bill discussed, is critical to our effort in this area. It will revitalize the gaming market for, with Windows. I should remind everybody here, the PC and Windows is the number one gaming platform in the world. 200 million people every month play games on Windows. So it is a leadership platform and it is going to continue to grow. And Windows Vista is going to expand that dramatically. By making it more powerful with DirectX 10 and, and key graphics technologies that are being built into the product. By making it easier to use so that this process of buying a game, putting it on your machine and playing it is dead simple. And making it safer with family settings where parents can really control what their kids are doing and make sure the content is appropriate for their children. Now one of the cool things about Games for Windows is it's about hardcore gamers for sure, but it's also about casual gamers. This is a very broad ecosystem. And what I'd like to do now is show you a short video that gives you some context for how broad it is and how cool the next generation of gaming on Windows Vista is going to be. Let's roll that video.
So games for Windows is an incredibly growing market. And you can see that it's a market that includes things at your desktop, on the go, wherever you want, there's a gaming platform on Windows for you to be able to use and get great effect with those games. But of course, Games for Windows, while it is our leading and largest gaming platform, it's not the only gaming platform Microsoft has. Our second is Xbox 360. And I'm very excited about the progress we've made to become the leader in this next generation of gaming. We have sold through December 31st 10.4 million consoles across 37 countries around the world. That's a half a million units ahead of our projections. In some ways, the data that's more interesting is when we do the survey data, the majority of those owners of Xbox 360 are new to the Xbox platform. That tells you how we are expanding the market. That tells you how we're growing and how we're becoming a leader. And when you look at games and the attach rate of games, the number of games sold per console, and the number of peripherals sold per console, we are setting records on Xbox 360 every step along the way for a console at this stage in its life cycle. So this ecosystem is alive, burgeoning, and growing, and really setting the pace for what's going to happen in the future. Now, I talked about games attached, and, and clearly as we go forward, games is what this is going to be about. And Gears of War from Epic Games and Microsoft is setting the pace. In the first eight weeks, we've sold 2.7 million copies of Gears of War. That title is now a Halo-like franchise that continues to drive hardware in a very positive way, and we think it's an evergreen property that we're gonna be able to leverage for a long time. But it doesn't just stop with Gears of War. We have 160 titles on the platform today. That number by the end of 2007 will double to over 300 titles. Games like Dance Dance Revolution, Guitar Hero 2, a new game from Microsoft called Mass Effect, and of course Grand Theft Auto 4, all coming to Xbox 360 this calendar year. Now, when you talk about games in Xbox 360, and you talk about the year 2007, there's one title that will be the story of 2007. And that title, of course, is Halo 3. So let's take just a little sampling of what Halo 3 will bring this year. You ever wonder what's up there? Like what? Maybe someone up there was wondering what it's like here. I guess. Do you think we'll ever meet them? I hope so. Don't you? So you can all finish the fight on Halo 3 coming in 2007, but in some ways more important, you can carry that fight to Xbox 